Alright, I wanted to uh, show off this application. I've been waiting for this for a little while. It's actually a cloud gaming application, but on top of that it's also a uh, decent remote desktop uh, or cloud desktop more uh, application. And it works on all devices. So the difference between something where NVIDIA Shield has its grid service, which we'll show here. So this is the grid service. They have specific games that they have to have licenses and all that stuff. They have to go through all this crap to get their games on here. And a lot of times what ends up happening is they get a bunch of like games. Not that they're always bad, just that are kind of like bargain bin games or games that you literally can play on your cell phone. Like Dungeons and Dragons, um, it's a great game, but and I actually really like that game. But you know, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Shadows, Shadows over the Star, or so, whatever. But you can play that on your cell phone. You know, you don't need a streaming service to stream you uh, that game. Um, there's other games on here that you can that's that are even ported to mobile, and there's no reason that you should need a streaming service for those games. So a lot of times you just don't get games. That's what happens with a lot of streaming services. It's not just this one. Most streaming services you come across, they get all these crappy little games, or you get these bargain bin games that aren't bad, it's just that you could probably buy them with like your lunch money or something. So what this does, which I think it, what it does right, and we'll launch it, um, I will launch it. Now I don't have a controller hooked up, so you do have on-screen touch controls. Um, let me just hit this and get out of edit mode. Uh, apparently, let me let me try to go home here. Go to the home, just to get you show you. Okay, so you can just launch big picture mode for Steam. Okay, so you're streaming a desktop from the cloud to here. And you can use it as you would any PC. So you can download Steam, you could install any game from Steam, and stream it from the cloud to your PC. So this way, you, when you purchase a game, you own it on Steam, or you can download Origin, or whatever you want, and you can stream it from the cloud to your PC. You don't to your to your tablet or your PC. You, if you, even if you have a crappy PC, you can actually stream all these games to your crappy PC and play them that way. Um, but you don't need another PC. It's not like game stream where you need like, uh, you know, GTX 650 or higher or whatever and, you know, this processor and that. You don't have to, you have to think just about as much as you have to think on a console whereas you just download games and play and they take care of the hardware and they upgrade and everything like that. Right now, their hardware isn't really that powerful. They're not. They're a new company, and they're working, I guess, on, on improving their hardware because right now my PC is actually more powerful than what they have there. They can't even. I can't even play Advanced Warfare right now because their PCs don't have enough RAM, and the CPU is not meeting the minimum requirements of that game. So they definitely have to upgrade that. But I've been able to play Crisis 2 and things like that. Um, we're going to launch Windows 10. So we can launch the Windows 10 interface and just use it like a remote desktop if you want to. It supports you know, controllers, so you can plug in an Xbox 360 controller and play your games. It also has the on-screen controller. So if you don't have a contr controller plugged in, unlike Grid, you can actually use the on-screen controller uh, control pad. Um, which may work for more simple games, but uh, I wouldn't be trying to play, you know, uh, first-person shooters or something online with the with the on-screen touchpad thing. Well, you could try, but whatever. So yeah, but really, you can use. Uh, let me just get this out of here. Control. What am I doing? I forgot. Oh, I don't even need to do that. I just do that. Okay. So, so this is the. Well, it does. It's very smooth, so, you know, you can do that. There's some things I, I, I don't understand. Like, I would like it if I could use, like, the... This is a touchpad, whereas if you use, um... Uh, what the hell is that? A splash top or something, you would have a mouse here, say, and then when you move your mouse, it would go with your 
your finger movement kind of, but there's really nothing like that. It's just tapping. I don't know. But it's Windows 10. Uh, this is just the beta, so yeah, you can call it the keyboards and all that. Yay. So you could use it like a regular remote desktop if you wanted to. You can go online, you can download like Sony Vegas or something, or you can download whatever software to for video editing, you know, stuff other than gaming. But on top of that, you can also do things like download Origin or any other thing. It comes pre-installed with Steam, but we're going to just launch the Steam Big Picture Mode. And we just tap Steam Big Picture Mode, and it will launch. Now, if you have HDMI out, you can, you know, HDMI out to the TV, hook up a controller, and start playing these games. Um, as far as whatever, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. And then, of course, you have this, so. I don't know about mouse and, and keyboard support as far as um, here. Last time, when I tried to play mouse and keyboard uh, on Crisis on my desktop, it was all weird. At it. it was just weird. It didn't work right. So I could only use a controller. Uh, I don't know. But also because you're connected to their, uh, their internet. So this is using their internet to download games. So for me, I have shitty internet. It's good enough to stream this, but it's not good. You know, it takes forever to download games. But because when you download the games, on you're using their internet to download it. It's a lot faster for me to download the games. Um, and see, so we have Crisis, Hatred, uh, Call of Duty, which doesn't seem to work right. It lags a lot. I can play it, but it tells me no, your CPU's not good enough. Your RAM's not good enough. So that's something they have to work on because uh, I think they should have more powerful PCs than I do at their their uh, office there. But you know, I only have one PC to buy. They have two. They have two. They have uh, more than one lot. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just you know. But then I don't know. Fuck it. Who cares? So here's Crisis Two. Um. Yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> Trying to think here. Nothing's happening. So, I mean, it's a little, it'll start off a little bit uh, messy, kind of. Like I said, it is a beta, so. You have quality settings here somewhere. A lot of times when you pull this up, it has an automatic uh, quality setting, so. You know, it will change it based on your uh, bandwidth or whatever the fuck, and your internet, and blah, 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 blah. So you go to advanced performance, you can, you know, well, there's 60 frames per second, um, pinch to zoom, immersive mode, which I don't need because I'm using full screen. Resolution is set to 720p because if I set it to 1080p, it freaks out. And then there's Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Um. So anyways, I'm going to hit A. It told me to hit start, so I hit A, because I want it to be rebellious. Then here it's stuttering a bit here. We're going to hit resume game. It's not going to, you know, I'm using touch controls, so it's not going to be the best, but... Yeah, I'll take a while to load. But I played a few hours of Crisis, whatever, the fuck. Crisis 2. Let's make sure it's... Okay, it's loaded, I see the bar going. There it goes. Make sure it didn't, like, freak out and crash or something. Oh! Now we're freaking out here. Not that. Um... Okay. It doesn't want to stop shooting. Stop shooting. Okay. Having some issues. There you go. It got a sticky button issue. Yeah, but you see it's it's giving me a little bit of an issue. Let me see if you can see this on the screen here. 
I was playing it fine on my desktop. Okay. And controls are a little weird on the touch screen, so. So. Don't expect to be playing first person shooters like this, but. But yeah. You know. <laughs> if you can get some swiping controls in here, it may be a little more useful. It's like moving back, forward, and all that is okay, but. This is what happens when you when you uh, use the mouse, though, by the way. So I was talking about with the mouse controls. And it seems to have, uh, you know, picked up a bit as it starts lagging. Um, but yeah. I wish they could get some swipe controls, like, for the, for the um, left analog stick. But there it is. And they have definitely have some work to do um, for this, but like I said, it is possible to um, play. And I think if they Im improve their processors and everything, you know, it'd be a lot better. It's a little rough to move. Like I said, with the touch controls, it's kind of rough. And if you hit the wrong area, there you go, some lag. If you hit the wrong area, you'll end up, um, you'll end up, you know, screwing yourself up like that or something. You know, if you fat finger one of these analog sticks or any of the buttons. So, I wouldn't be in, uh, using touch controls for something like this. Something that uses a D-pad may not be so bad. There's also right button and left stick. Uh, right, yeah, right button and left stick controls. Right stick, left stick controls, is that? Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> so, you can do shit like this. Yeah. Tactical options available. So, yeah, but you can stream that, you can... Even if you didn't have a game PC, you could actually, uh, the idea is you would be able to just download the software, download Steam or Origin or whatever, and basically you can download any game you want from those uh, services, or just download any game from any, um, the latency is fairly good, it's just the, the, um, the lag issues. But you'd be able to download, you know, without having to upgrade any PCs or anything. So if that bothers you to have to do that, <clears throat> you can download any game you really want and not really have to worry about it, hopefully, eventually. You know, because obviously right now I'm having issues with some games. Like I said, Advanced Warfare is not quite working. Um, let me just quit out. But yeah, so, and even if you did have a gaming PC, maybe eventually they would have a better, you know, hopefully they would have better PCs than you'd have. Maybe you can get in some games that play on PCs you couldn't freaking afford, or just simply game on your tablet, whatever. So, I think this is a really cool option, even if it needs some work, I think it's a really good option for, um... What the fuck? What the hell did I do? Okay, let's try this again. I want to quit. Quit. Yes, I want to quit. You know what it did? I must have hit. Okay, it didn't. It didn't do that. All right, never mind. But you'd be able to just play games. You could pull it up on your PC. So if you have a crappy PC at home. You could uh, download this um, this software, and that would get you up and running with some games. Right now, it's free, so you can try it out. And uh, so, even if you have a crappy PC that can't play fucking Minecraft, you should be able to actually uh, start playing some um, 
some triple A stuff and you know all that. You know, granted you'd have to like make purchases and shit. This one thing that that separates this from something like uh, Grid is that this requires purchases of the games unless you're using like free to play. You would need to purchase your games on top of paying a fee whenever the hell they start charging. And you know, you would have to pay a fee to to play your games and then pay the fee to buy the game. That's one of those things that that was working against on live. But the only thing is that with on live, they again they required to they needed to get the license for the games and you know they always got these crappy games or these mediocre games that people are like oh I can get that shit in the bargain bin and this is a little bit different because it allows you just access it has gives you full access to not only just Steam but a remote desktop you can get Origin you can get this you can get that and it's just like a remote desktop that's optimized for cloud gaming so you don't have these this crap with you know, the the people have to get licenses for specific games and you end up with a pile of shit games that you you can play on demand, but, you know, you wouldn't really spend the money on the service because it's not worth it with the games that they have. So, you know, it's a little... I, I think this one works a lot better. And if they could get a... a I would use this if they had a PC or PCs or just hardware that's better than mine. I, I don't want to pay to stream a desktop that's not as good as the desktop I have at home. I could stream my desktop already outside of the house and inside the house, so that's not what I'm looking for. I would like to be able to uh, use cloud gaming to get a nicer PC than I could afford. And if they keep upgrading and upgrading, then they'll more than likely keep me outdated, I guess, or something. I don't know if that makes any sense. I just was trying to say something. I don't know. But yeah, this works with uh, controllers and all that. On desktop, it works with Rumble as well. So if your controller supports Rumble, it will in fact work. Um, not a, Android has a you know it doesn't seem to work with Rumble. Uh, from what I hear, Android is not a is not friendly with with Rumble motors and controllers. So, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Um, so, but yeah, it, it did work on PC using the Rumble motors on the on the controller. And yeah, so um, so this also means that you can download emulators. By the way. All right, so um, my, I ran out of space because I talk a lot. Uh, I don't remember what the last thing I said, but I did want to state that it, it would let you can play emulators. This would allow you to play emulators for PC, desktop, full emulator, you know. So you can play like Sega M2 emulators, so you can play like Daytona USA or whatever those, you know, House of the Dead games and all that. Uh, you can stream those, so anything you just don't have on Android or something like that, you just would be able to stream uh, to your your tablet without having to have like some kind of PC in your house to to do take care of that and stuff like that. So I just think just thought it was a really cool app. I've been waiting for it for a while, and uh, you know. I thought it was a great idea because it's not just for gaming, even though it's gaming focused, you can use it with Windows and you can just simply, uh, you know, go here and then you switch over to the Windows 10 desktop if this will ever load that. Okay. And I may need to... Okay. So we go... And then we can head on over to our Windows 10 desktop here. And, uh, yeah, so... And it's a very smooth desktop. You can use the browser on here, so you'd have Flash and all that crap. Use Chrome. Think about the, uh, one thing I just... Last thing I want to say is the beta version, or whatever, is, um, has a bit of a limitation. If you don't use it... Meaning, if you close out of the application and you're not connected to it for 10 minutes, 
It deletes everything you hit you downloaded. So the Crisis Three, uh, Crisis Three, Crisis Two installation, all the other installations that I have. Uh, as soon as I get rid of this application and leave it be for ten minutes, it's just going to delete all those those downloads. Uh, so <laughs> so all the time I took to download all that stuff, it's going to be gone. That's not the, with the full version. That's just a beta limitation. Um, it's a big limitation for me, but even for a beta, but luckily the games do download quite quickly. Um, if that was to happen on my PC, I'd be sitting there downloading the stuff all day long. Whereas with this, it was like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to download uh, large AAA games. So that's that, and thank you for watching. And I hope this video helped you out somehow. So, see you later.